Okay, last class, styling exercises endangered animals add color coding. So um, in one of our previous exercise, exercises, we created a list of endangered animals with their scientific name, where they live, and whether they were endangered or threatened. Okay, we're going to add class classes to all of the endangered list items and the threatened list items. It's either going to be in class equals endangered or class equals threatened. Then we are going to add another class for scientific name and then we're going to style these classes. So they are going to be color coded based on whether they're threatened or endangered and then if um, their scientific name will be italicized, okay? So your final list should be formatted like this, okay? The uh, animals will be different, but the formatting will be the same, okay? So first thing we're going to need to do is paste that code from our exercise. So let's go back to our exercise tab and open up that endangered animal list. Okay. So you're going to need all of this code. We're just going to highlight all of it, control C, and back in our text editor, we can paste right over this. Okay, so we need our endangered classes to be set to class equals endangered. So I'm going to find all of my list items with endangered in it, and I will put that in there. Okay, so remember classes you typically use when you have multiple tags that you want to give the same style to. Okay, and um, the beauty of writing CSS rules is that you can write one rule to style all the classes at once. Again, for the threatened, we're going to put it in the threatened class because this is going to get a different style. So we're going to put it in a different class. And then finally, for the list items with scientific name, we're going to put them in the scientific name class. All right, so I need to put that for every list item that includes a scientific name. All right, so that does it for the HTML piece. Now up in the CSS style sheet, we're going to create the rules. Okay, so the font colored, the font color for endangered should be red. So for the endangered, you need to make sure that the rule names match the class names below. Otherwise, it won't be able to find or locate the tags you're trying to select. So pay attention to that. It might turn green, but if you spell it incorrectly, it will not find the appropriate tags. Okay, so endangered is going to be red. The threatened class is going to be orange red. Oops. We need to add the property. Okay. All right, so let's run that and see how things look. Okay, so endangered is right, red. Threatened is not. Let's figure out what we're missing. So, oh, okay. So I mentioned earlier, if you spell the class names wrong, you won't get the right results. Same thing with property and property values. I'm missing the E here in orange, so the browser does not know what orange red is. We got to look out for that as well. So orange, red, let's run that and see if we get the right result this time. Okay, looks good. I know it might be hard to tell, but they're uh, actually two different colors. They look pretty close and similar, this red and orange shade, but it is um, actually orange. All right, this one did not turn orange, so let's go down and take a look at that list item and see what might be missing. Okay, so that is the First one, okay, threatened, okay, lots of uh, spelling errors here, but with a little problem solving and digging, we can uh, find the problem. Okay, so that looks good now. The only thing that's missing is our scientific naming class needs to be italicized. I'm going to challenge you to finish that up. One hint is that your property that you're going to need for this rule is font-style. Okay, guys, good luck. Any questions, leave them down below.